everybody and welcome to Granny's Kitchen. Today I am going to be making some homemade pepperoni for the keto, keto war. This could even be carnivore if you do a little spices in your carnivore diet. So here we go. Um, you are going to need three pounds of ground beef and we'll pop that in there. You're going to need two pounds of ground pork. I use a mixture of ground pork and beef because I find that if I just use beef, it's way too dry for me. So I do use the beef and pork and you just want to mix that up a little bit into each other. So you're going to need five teaspoons of pepper. I use white pepper, but you can use black if you would like. And that is five teaspoons of pepper. Sprinkle that all around five teaspoons of mustard seed. There you are. Five teaspoons of fennel or none. You're also going to need one teaspoon of garlic powder, two and a half teaspoons of red, crushed red pepper flakes. If you want to spicier, you can add more or less or none. Two and a half teaspoons of paprika, five teaspoons of liquid smoke, and three quarters of a teaspoon of curing salt. So you're going to want to add five teaspoons of salt to your pepperoni as well. And we're going to sprinkle that in there. And we're going to work it and get it all nice and in there. Then you're going to put it in another bowl, preferably a glass bowl if you have one that's big enough in the fridge and leave it there for three days and let the juice let it just marinate in there and get all the flavors incorporated and every day you're going to want to go in and just kind of give it a little mix then you want to get your glass bowl and put your pepperoni in there leave it for three days wrap it up Put it in the fridge 72 hours and we will be back when it's all done. Hey everybody, today we are going to finish up our pepperoni. So I have my smoker preheating to 175. If you do not have a smoker, that's okay. Um, yeah, 175 and we're going to put that in there for two hours and then we're going to turn it up to 190. You can do the same thing with your oven if you don't have a smoker. You're going to take about one and a quarter pounds of your pepperoni and some saran wrap, and you're just going to make a nice log. Now you can put this in two casings. I just don't have a big enough casing, so this is how I do it, and it's easy and it works fantastic. So you just want to take the ends and twist. And there you go, perfect. Or you can turn them like this. Get them nice and tight, and there you are. And you have your log. Now you wanna take your pepperoni out of the fridge, or you can do the rolls and then keep them out of the fridge for at least a half an hour so you have even cooking of your pepperoni. And every couple hours you wanna just go out and Turn them, make sure it's even on both sides. There you go. And just keep it nice and tight. You want your little logs to be nice and tight, uniform. And there you go. We have our four logs ready. Once they're ready to be put on to the smoker, you're just going to take your cellophane off, put it on your racks, and put them in the smoker or your oven. Smoke it for about six hours or two. and remember 175 to start is what I put it at. You could put it at lower, but I do about 175 and yeah, seems to work good. Then two hours, I turn it up to 190. Hi everybody and it is time to start cutting up our pepperoni. I smoked it for six hours. I started it at 170, a low smoke for four hours and then I brought it to 190 for two hours internal temperature of 165. It looks pretty darn good. So let's just give it a slice and check it out. 
and the pepperoni's all sliced. I'm gonna finish slicing it, but I didn't think you wanted to watch. So there you go. That's our pepperoni. See you soon. Hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching, everybody.